I'm Betsy Osman. This is a show that focuses on humanities, arts, entertainment, science, and humane causes. We have a little bit of each of that in today's show. We have with us Mr. Henny Youngman, King of the One-Liners. We also have with us an up-and-coming comedian, Louis Carbarero. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but he'll pronounce it more correctly when he's on. He's doing an up-and-coming film called The Puerto Rican Mambo, written by Ben Modell, a very talented comic writer who will be on with us also. And last but not least, Pastor Havrilla, and he'll be discussing his mission in Haiti. But right now, let's meet Henny Youngman. King of the one-liners, welcome to the show. Right, how are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Since why you're not? Here? That's why I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me, uh, do you admire any comics today? No. Who is your favorite? Me. You? For <laughs> yeah. all times? Right now. Right now? Has there ever been anyone besides oh, yourself? Oh, sure. I piled out with Milton Boyle. I know everybody. They're all very good. They're all making a good living. That's all I have to do as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. um, Everybody has his own thing. This summer you did, you did actually pair up with Milton Berle for... Yes, and I'll be with him in Westbury, October 12th and 13th, Westbury Music Fair. Mm -hmm. We'll be there next month together. And you did that also this summer at the same place or different? No, I travel all over. I do banquets, sales meetings, trade shows, conventions. I do commercials. Whatever the job is, I do. Okay, and how is it teaming up with Milton Berle? Very good. We could, we're together for four days. We'll have a lot of laughs and get paid well. Okay. Out of curiosity, do you plan the comedy or is it all yeah, planned? Yeah, so I have mine all planned, yes. All planned. Yes, okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay. No, I, I believe you. <laughs> Henny, I believe you. I don't question that. But we, we don't go out and add lib, as we you call don't. it. You Okay. We are well prepared for what we do. Mm-hmm. Okay. It may look ad lib, but we're prepared. We're prepared. Okay. And I asked you this question off camera, but just for the audience's sake, I was curious myself. Have the audiences changed? No, the audience don't change. The audience never changes. They're people. So whatever made them laugh. Whatever years comes ago, in, whatever comes in to see you, must like you. They pay their way in. Mm -hmm. So you got them half licked already. Mm -hmm. Now all you got to do is be funny, and give the people some laughs. Try and get them to forget their troubles, and they've done a good job. Okay. All right. And what made them laugh 20 years ago is well, the that's same some good thing? jokes. Yes. If a joke is a joke is good, mm -hmm. you can use it any time. Okay. Everybody don't know whatever you do. They may know one or two jokes they remember from the past, but the rest of it's all new to them. Mm -hmm. And whatever you do, you remind them sometimes of things they enjoyed before. Mm -hmm. I've been in business 60 years, so there's some people that remember me and enjoy what I do. I know they do, and uh, you still got it. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, let me ask you this question. Behind the take my wife, please, and behind the one-liners, can I ask what interests you have or what hobbies you might have? No. My no? hobby is working. Your hobby is working? Right now I have a couple of things pending. I taped Rich and Famous last week, mm -hmm. which is a good show. Mm -hmm. My new book should be out in November. What book is that? called Take My Life, Please, oh, an autobiography. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in a picture that you'll see maybe this week called Goodfellas. I do a scene at the old Copa. They recreated the Copa Cabana, mm -hmm. and I come out as MC like I used to. So I'll be seen in the picture just for two minutes, maybe. And then uh, I'm going to do a show with Jane Curtin in November. She's got a new show called Working Things Out, mm -hmm. besides the appearance with Milton Berle and my one night appearances. Okay. So you don't have time for uh, fishing or anything? No, like I never that. liked that. You I never, never liked enjoyed fishing? I never tried it. Have you, have you ever had any hobby out of curiosity? No. In your whole life, you've always been show business. No right? hobby. I've always looked for new jokes. I'm constantly looking for new material. Mm -hmm. I'm on phones trying to book myself with the William Morris Agency. Mm -hmm. And I try to keep busy at what I enjoy doing. I enjoy what I do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's a great asset in anybody's career. Enjoy mm -hmm. what you're doing and get paid for it. And get paid for it, exactly. Okay, and um, what do you think about all these new comedy channels? They're all right. They're all right, but not, not funny? Well, how are you going to learn the business in 20 minutes? You've got a background, you've got to have experience, and they have to learn that. And Meanwhile, they're making a good living, mm -hmm. and uh, whatever money they make is, is good, whatever they want. Do what they want to do, if you can afford it. Mm -hmm. And you've looked at the comedy, like the TV comedy channel on HBO and whatnot. You've watched the other. They got TVs? enough for a little while. They'll run out of material. Really? Is that sure, right? because there's no new comics around. 
-hmm. You've got to have material. It's got to take time. You've got to put merchandise on the shelf. And most of these people aren't buying material. They're doing what they think is funny. They may get laughs from their friends, but if they go to Omaha, mm -hmm. they're not going to get laughs with the same material. Mm -hmm. So you've got to learn. You've got to learn what not to do. Mm -hmm. And, by doing and you've got to invest money, and you've got to go to professional writers and get stuff written for you. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to learn it, you've got to do it. Now, where are you going to get the jobs? You've got to get an agent. Right. Who's going to trust you mm -hmm. to go out and do a show with one of their clients? Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, all the dirty comics, they're doing well now, but I don't know why. There's no reason to be dirty. Mm -hmm. And I'm really annoyed with them. Mm -hmm. They don't know different. Right, and they'll play in Vegas, but they'll never get on network. Is that right? No. Cause that's Do whatever you have to, wherever you're booked. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares where you go. Mm -hmm. You've got to get money at the end of the week to pay the rent. If you don't pay the rent, forget about it. Do you remember your days uh, before you oh, became sure famous? Sure I remember. Sure. Where was the mark where you thought, when I got I'm the really case, getting I, somewhere? I got the case Smith show by accident. Mm -hmm. Somebody heard me do a benefit for a temple. Mm -hmm. We used to have benefits years ago on Sunday nights. They used to rent the theater and run a benefit. Mm -hmm. I used to hang around and wait to go on. Sometimes I never get on because all the stars showed up. Mm -hmm. But I used to wait around. I finally got on and proved I can get laughs. And I tried to build a little name. And then I got the Kate Smith show. Mm -hmm. I had a band those years. And one night a fellow didn't go on. It was booked. I went on, did the jokes. The boss said, I'll keep you. Let the band go. So I let the band go. I became an MC by accident. Great. But I had a fiddle. I used to play with a band. Mm -hmm. We used to get nighttime jobs. Do you still play the fiddle? Yeah, sure. I use it in my act. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I know you did. I just Isaac Stern had me play. He said, break his fingers. Mm -hmm. do, um, do you think it's any easier today for no. a comedian? No. Nothing is easy. Any easier than it was? No. How, well, how can you prove that? I don't know. You still got to make the rounds. I'm asking your opinion on that. You so, got to okay. go to try to find an agent, somebody who will sell you. Mm -hmm. And you got to make the rounds and prove you're funny to an agent first. Yeah. So he can go out and sell you. Mm hmm And he's got to get your job. You've got to hang around and wait. You better have a day job. Exactly. Okay. Uh, how, how long is a fair shake of time, would you say, advice to a Nobody comedian? Nobody knows. It's hard to say. Nobody knows. It's so up to yourself. It's up to yourself. If you've been doing something for four years and you feel you're getting ahead, no one can make that decision. You just... Right. Keep going. You gotta pay the rent. You gotta pay the rent. <laughs> okay. All right, Henny. I won't keep you much longer because I know you're. All right. Good luck. Running. I hope so. I gave somebody. Let me ask you one last question. Go ahead. What advice would you give to uh, comedians of today? Any advice whatsoever that you could give? I'd like to see them, uh, some of them that have material instead of being dirty and using dirty words in front of ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to see them quit because that don't make the joke funny using a dirty word. Mm -hmm. So whoever's giving them advice. I don't know where, where they're getting it, or whether the, the, the kids laugh at that street talk today. Mm -hmm. That encourages them to be more dirty. I had a guy the other night who was really filthy. Right. Great. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't think it helps your career, in other words. Great. Okay. Thank you very much Good luck. for being nice on the show. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, we're going to take a break now, and we'll be back in just a moment with another up-and-coming comedian. Stay tuned. They